Welcome to Akhand Vidyashram, the first institute of impeccable wisdom in the world. Let's start with a new concept as a beautiful sequence of new spiritual signs from beginning to the impeccable wisdom are the status of pinnacle heights of wisdom of perfection of Devyank as a sequence from this video onwards. You are going to see many of the slides which will be part of it as we proceed. In the beginning, I would be explaining. As I go next, it will be only shown as a symbolic representation to build on the next stage the way the whole universe did. In other words, the tree growth is the new tree we are going to grow for new wisdom hereafter. And with that, we start a new divine mathematics, which is Devyank. And let's move on. First thing which comes to my mind, this particular wisdom is from Akhand Bharat, the Hindu Rashtra, which is enclosed by Sindhu River from East Himalayas to Mount Kailash, Mansrovar to Ladakh to the West and then entire Sindhu Mahasagar, which is part of the three at Singh and this is the land from which this particular wisdom is coming, not from anywhere else. I owe everything to Akhand Bharat and impeccable wisdom of Akhand Bharat from Vedas, Upanishad to other scripture to the present level of Devyank and Akhandta comes only from this land. So this particular series by and large are dedicated to Akhand Bharat, the Sindhu Rashtra. And that is dedicated only to spiritual science of impeccable wisdom. Now, as I told you, this is a new series altogether is a new title called Devyank Sutra. I had written my last book as Akhand Sutra. Before that, Akhand and many other things. But Devyank Sutra is going to the one, a thread, in which all the gems of spiritual science are integrated as one. So, it is an integrated spiritual science from beginning to the status pinnacle. When I say pinnacle, is the height zenith, is the perfection without any problem, but you can call it impeccable wisdom of Devyank. How it started before the creation, during the creation, and thereafter how the nature unfolded its secrets step by step in the light of mathematics, geometrical structures, and of course all the sciences we can talk about 64. And that divine mathematics designed by nature, not man-made mathematics which we see in the world and not the science which we talk about deficiencies which science is still trying to tackle with. Even Nobel laureates of works are found to be defective. Now we, I, with the help of all the divine forces put together, put together divine mathematics and symbols of the highest order which replace all the languages of the world with a symbolic representation which has no deficiency at all. The inadequacy of letters and inaccurate expressions and ambiguity of words of language medium of every, every language including Sanskrit, Tamil, English, German or all the languages of the world are not as perfect as we read in divine mathematics and we can convert each mathematics design as desired into symbolic form which India has given to the world as Devi Puja or into status and taking ancient Indian pictures in the light of modern science. I'm going to see how I have seen that to the world from today onward, which is 1st November 2024, which is the beginning of Deepavali of 2024. We see the new light emerging thereafter. You're going to see many things, don't worry about it. As we proceed, the older description is going to be only symbolic representation for a few seconds. So that sequence is maintained as we proceed till the culmination, our status pinnacle, as we proceed with respect to the human body as we need to be perfectly healthy, wealthy, wise and happy and make the world a peaceful place. This is focused on universal consciousness, macrocosmic representation, microcosmic representation, human being, the one who can bring world peace and that's 
it. This is the beginning. You are going to see it in a totally different line. If there is anybody has a deficiency, a defect in this particular thing, please bring it to notice. I will try to rectify as we proceed with the slides thereafter. I promise that. And it should be only with Divian and divine mathematics and symbolic representation without any deficiency. Is there the deficiency? I will not be using. In case you do find a deficiency, please tell. I will try to clarify and move on. So let's start with new generation of Divian Sutra. Sutra is aphorism, a thread in which all the things are put together. Akhand was one sutra. And Divyank is the sutra meant only for Divyank, that divine mathematics which was also there in Akhand Sutra, but little more specific, the one which design has done in nature with the scientific evidence which modern science has used, with the due respects what I have found from internet and other things has been used with a clear cut. If people should take that their symbols have been used as a credit to their work, not as a discredit. Don't, and I am thankful to all those people who have done that and take this as a credit from Akhand Vidyashram and Divyank Sutra that their symbols have been used for the world to see the science as it is. And you are going to see many symbols which belong to the copyrights, but it's a credit to them with thanks that I am doing it. Now, Let's start the whole journey from beginning itself. And I do know one thing for certain. Everything started with Atman only. The primordial divine soul is the one which started the entire universe. And that is the written document of Akhand Bharat or Sanatana Dharma as a divine soul which is Atma. Now let me talk about from this in the beginning which we need not describe later. The divine soul or Atma cannot be cut, cannot be burnt, cannot be dissolved. It is indestructible, insoluble, integrated, undistinguishable, inexhaustible and eternal. The being, this is the description of Sanatana Dharma or Akhand Bharat from the very beginning, from Ved itself. Everything the universe has come from Atma, is sustained by the Atma and goes back to Atma also is the concept which Akhand Bharat speaks about it from Ved itself. And my honest perception is the above qualities are perceptible in the inert dark matter are the noble gases only. And those five noble gases in my opinion are the stable. If I look at the first one as a helium 4 is my Antaratma, my Kundalini, my Antaratma, my soul, my Aditi, which has helped me to understand my physical anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, psychology completely. From atom, element, molecules, to the compound, to the cells, to everything within the human body, I have been able to experience with the help of helium-4, the Aditi, Kundalini, Antaratma has made me realize how to be healthy, wealthy and wise all my life, how to be very intelligent person, how to be in universal consciousness, I owe everything to the first Antaratma which I call Helium 4 which was formed in sun with 6000 centigrade degree in the beginning from hydrogen which I call Aditi, Aditya, sun is hydrogen. Aditi is the mother and daughter of Aditya or sun as the second one which is first noble gas and that's it. The second thing which stands out in my consciousness is Neon 21 which I associate with Goddess Gayatri and she is the one responsible for making the solar system and spiral galaxy are our Brahman with the precision of 10.344 directions or dimensions. Then third thing which stands out in my consciousness is Argon 40, Adi Prashakti, which has 18 protons, 18 electrons and 22 neutrons. Whereas Neon 21 has got 11 neutrons, 11 protons and 11 things. This has got 
double 22. So 11 and 22 are the one with which Divya starts. That's it. Then up to three things are very clear as far as my consciousness is concerned and organ 40, Adi Prashakti has made me understand the Brahman level, Mahabrahmand level. And that's, but when come to the Krypton and Xenon are the two ones which also made me realize the higher things which Ved Upanishads are talking about. And that I would be explaining hereafter. That's what. So, and as a result I can conclude the inner dark matter, noble gases, cannot be cut, cannot be burnt or dissolved. There isn't Atmi soul fully. So, in other words, the atmic description can be explained only in the light of noble gases which are stable because all the electrons are as much as the number of protons they are all connected within and that makes it and I am going to explain that also with the help of a graphic presentation how beautiful this is. Now the question comes say and I am talking about divine mathematics I am bringing a concept soon at atma as a zero itself. And I can tell you one thing very clearly that numerals as designed by nature started from zero, not one, two, three, four, is also something is very clear in Rig Veda itself. Tenth mandala, Nisidya is clear that before the creation there was Shunya, it was a dot, it was dark matter, it was Mrityu form, it was inactive form is very clearly described in that. So I presume divine mathematics started from zero and there is no issue and all this what the world has spoken about that zero was invented by Aryabhata later is not true. Zero was perceived by the Brahmins of Akhand Bharat as the beginning as the beginning of civilization of Sindhu Rashtra itself. And now I'm making, and I call it Indus Valley Sarvaji. I call it Sindhu Rashtra. That's the beginning of organization of spiritual science started. So that is Sindhu surrounded by Kash. From Ladakh right up to Kanyakumari is the land which I'm talking about. And that started as an integrated process of zero, Shunya, Atma, the beginning. So very clear, entire universe started process from Atma which is zero, which is a dot, which was inactive, which was dark and that is what Vedas are talking about, that is what others are talking about. So from my understanding of Vedas, Upanishads and other scriptures, the beginning started with Atma on one side, inert matter as you can, I am going to show you which it started and mathematics, divine mathematics from zero, not from one. So I'm sure now the beginning has started. Now we'll move on step by step how things unfolded over a period to come to this stage of universal consciousness that I can talk of divine mathematics with Divya for the first time with the evidence from 2015 onwards. How it was perceived to that level, we will see slowly how it started unfolding its secrets from beginning and that is a new document the world needs so there is no dichotomy of any nature for anyone in the world. And I am doing it for my pleasure. I am sharing it my conception. I am not standing on judgment of others. If you like it, fine. You don't like it, fine. But if you are looking for impeccable wisdom, this document can help you to understand concept new, have divine mathematics and research again physics, chemistry and other subjects with Divyak in mind, I can assure you you will have a perfection to the core, you will reach the status of pinnacle heights, horizon of the highest need. That's it. Now come to the question of Genesis the complete numerals. As I told you very clearly, it was Bharat, Akhand Bharat which gave the mathematics and it started from zero. From zero was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. These 13 numbers, the one which I feel I understood very clearly when I was made to design this particular symbol way back in 1997 itself. It all started with a dot 
which is the center you can see then that dot was made into a circle you can see outside it was made to divide into nine components and nine components i was told divide one by seven put it one four two eight five seven as the first structure followed by the next three six nine as the number and then add to that another triangle to make it 12 and those are the numbers which I have understood from this maybe next slide I would show those slides also along with this how they were evolved over a period maybe next one so that you can understand clearly step by step that's it now we'll come to the origin of the universe as far as starting of spiritual science is concerned one statement which I have been using ever since my childhood I was made to understand that Nir Akar, Nirgun Brahman is the one from which everything started. Now Nir Akar means is a formless. Nirgun without qualities. Brahman is the universal consciousness. So in other words, the formless, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent universal consciousness is Nirankar, Nirgun Brahman. That is something which people cannot see. It is, but it is source of everything. And my perception is this inert matter xenon is being referred to because the most unstable inert matter in the universe it cannot be formed and seen even by electron microscope in modern science cannot show they have made it very clear it is not stable more than a fraction of a second so that explains Nirankar Nirugun Brahman is xenon now the question is it has a power of 54 electrons outside, but it has got a power of 108 inside. 54 protons and 54 neutrons which make insight of the nucleus, which has a power insight. And 54, there is a balance of 54 going out, but balance inside is 108. And this is a fifth period which is important. Sixth and seventh have no importance in human consciousness. Let us make it very clear. Now I am bringing we human beings up to what's what is important. Not what is not available within us which we cannot stand. Let us not talk of that. Let us talk of the only one which we can understand. So sixth and seventh period are not at all within the human body. But the fifth is the one where xenon can be done as the last of the last thing but one which is very practically important in the thing is the 53rd atom or element which is iodine. Iodine plays very important role to produce heat in the body and that is what I have already explained in the case of Nilkant Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva uses it to produce heat enough to be in Kailash or Amarnath in a cold climate because of iodine it can produce heat and that I have already explained but as we come to that particular stage I am going to explain that much more in detail. So let that be the one part xenon. Now in this particular thing you have electrons inner one two the second one eight third one eight fourth one eighteen and fifth one eighteen. So together you have fifty four. But this is a picture which has to be understood very clearly. Ki this is 54 with 54 electrons, protons and neutrons. Now there comes to the first manifestation. That was Nirankar Nirgun Brahman. But first manifestation which has come from Ved Upanishad to Dil is the Sakar Sargun Brahman. This is a statement which is already there. Sakar means it's a, 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 visible. It is potent, it is visible. It is omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent universal consciousness and that is the one, is the second in the stage as the first manifestation. And my understanding is, it is a krypton, is the second unstable inert matter which has a power of 108 itself. That has a core of 108 and outside 54 together it could be 162. But when it comes to the krypton, it has 108 by itself and that becomes the universal mathematics with which 
most potent thing the universe made, which Akhand Bharat has understood, is very clear. Now, when you take a krypton, I can say there are 36 protons, 36 electrons, 36 neutrons. So there is an amazing power of 108 with which Akhand Bharat starts as a mathematic. Starts from 0, then 12 number, and then you come to 108. Now, what is the connection between 0, 12, and 108? 108 is nothing but 9 times the value of 12 itself. Isn't that amazing? Super. But it's the fourth period with 2 plus 8 plus 8 plus 18, 36. The 36 proton and as it. Now you are going to see the beauty of 108 being seen in the universal consciousness which the world has seen, which Akhand Bharat has given to the world. First thing, the sun and mother earth are the most important parts as far as we human beings are concerned. And I am very clear. I am not talking about the external world. I am talking about we human beings with relation to the external world. Those one with us and the external world is all I am talking about, not external world as such. So one thing which stands out for making our life very, very comfortable, it is a sun. And most approximate distance between sun and earth is well recorded by the scientists, astronomers of the world, it is 115 million kilometers. And this distance has already been known to Akhand Bharat, we will not go into detail. Now we are going to consult in the modern science and I can tell you modern science, I take it to the blunt figures which fit into me as better than the given distance. So they have differences but I would make one one number. If you take 150, the diameter of sun is 1.3914 million kilometers. If you divide 150 by divide by 1.39 you get 108. That is the thing which stands out in Akhand Bharat. That's why all the malas and mantra malas are made of 108 beads only. That is the beauty which is given by Akhand Bharat. If you want to have a rosary, you should have a rosary of 108 only, not less or not more. And scientific evidence is between earth and sun you can fit 108 suns as such between these two. Isn't that a beauty? Yes, it is a beauty and that is a beauty I want the world to understand. Now to come to question of same thing, it's very interesting. Sun has a diameter and also earth has a diameter and the difference is this diameter with earth and sun is 108 times. Isn't that amazing? 108 earths can fit on the sun itself. Between sun and earth, you can have 108 suns, but on the sun you can have 108 moon. Isn't it surprising that both are so beautifully designed with the number which Bharat has given, Akhand Bharat has given to the world. The third thing which I am coming together, moon is from earth element. Earth is from sun. Now between earth and moon also you can see the diameter in such a way that 108 moons can fit between earth and moon itself. Isn't that interesting? It's super. That means you are now having a conclusive mathematics that 0 was the first number to start. Then we had the 12 numbers, 12 hours a day. Then multiplied by 9 is 108. And that is 108 you are going to see. See, the look at the divine mathematics. But that is the mathematics which is shown by the Brahmans of Akhand Bharat from Ved itself. Now, I am bringing only mathematical design which is conclusive. It is a symbolic language by and large. Now, there comes the question of third level. Goddess Adi Prashakti, which Akhand Bharat has spoken about it which is the mother of all the things which are produced. Krypton and Xenon are the perception to start with which laid the foundation for mathematics from 0 to 12 to 9 to 108 to the things. But when come to the manifestation, it was Adi Prashakti. Adi means the first, Para means absolute, Shakti is the mother, the divine mother. And she is the mother of 
Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva as you can see in the picture and also the mother of Saraswati, Lakshmi and Parvati who was consorts of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva by and large. In other words, one mother has given birth to three and that is the trinity stands out. So everything comes from one, is manifested as a three. That's why in Devyank also you can see three. First is a Lord Brahma which is 22 by 21. Then Vishnu, the 10th stage of development, which is 10. And Shiva's point 3441 there. Are. So, you see Divyank and Trinity and Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh are Saraswati, Mahalakshmi, Parvati. And the whole concept you are going to see everywhere it is a third. If you see the sun, solar system, you will have earth, seven parts, antrik, seven parts, and seven heavens. But you see cell, you are going to see the cell membrane cytoplasm and nucleus as a three. So that is the science which I am talking about, science and spirituality put together and showing how perfect it is. Next stage comes is the fourth level of goddess Gayatri with which spiral galaxy was produced and solar system is produced and within that the human chakras are also produced. We are the graphic representation of spiral galaxy or Brahman. Brahman that pendant of one is what understands from this. So we have come from what is Whereas Adi Prashakti has created the divinities as such we see in Vedas, Upanishads, other things, which are responsible for as such. But when it comes to spiral galaxy, solar system and the human body, we have come to Goddess Gayatri, which is Neon 21. You had Argon 40. 18 protons, 18 electrons and 18 things in Adi Prashakti. But here you have neon 21 with electron 10, protons 10 and neutrons 11. This is second stage of created from which spiral galaxies went and we have come from that. Now the next question of how I see the world being formed. That was before creation. Now during creation, it was a big bang theory in which neon 21 and neon 22 collided together to form neon 22. That is Divyank again. And with that light came, this is beginning of light, a Prakash Matra which Ved and Upanishad talk from darkness to light. Ved say very clear before creation it was Andhakar or it is a mrityu form, it is a dead matter, inert matter. But when it was formed, it was light, light and light, effulgent, surya alone. And that is what was this. With the time it cooled down to neon 21 side and all the atoms starting from hydrogen right up to fifth period were formed and brought down for the human sake. The other ones are also formed in the universe, but they are unstable. But periodic table is very clear on that. There are seven levels there and you have 18 groups. This picture is very clear. Now the question is when all this is formed and finally we come together to say that we are the graphic presentation of macrocosmic universe or Pindan Brahman Ek. This is the thing which I realized as a child itself very, very clearly. That first stage of creation is equal to 22 by 21. This knowledge is very clear in Upanishads clearly. The solar system is made of 21 parts. To go beyond that you need 22, 22nd step is very clear in most of the Upanishads. Then there are 10 stages of development are very clear in Dasatar of Lord Vishnu itself. So these two were very clear to me in the beginning itself before I started writing and that was the representation I had given in my book Akhand and a sense of universal consciousness in 2002 itself. But this is a sense that first creation of creation is a head which has made of 22 bones out of which 21 fixed and one is free and that is mandible which gives the expression to the world. Then 10 chakras went. Then solar system is made of 10 heavenly bodies and spiral galaxies are 10 and that is Aham Brahmasmi, I am like that. So that was very clear in this part key how I have come to this stage. Now come to the next stage of descent of elements. Now all these were formed in the universal consciousness 
बिफोर क्रिएशन ऑफ द अर्थ आर अंदर एंड इट इज सेट इंद्रा हु इज द किंग ऑफ गॉड इज द वॉटर एंड रेन गॉड इट इज द वन विद थंडर लाइटनिंग एंड रेन ऑल द एसेंशियल एटम एलिमेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स फ्रॉम द कॉस्मॉस केम डाउन टू द अर्थ एंड देन फ्लोड इन टू द ओशन एज सच एंड दिस डिसेंट आई कैन कॉल इट डिसेंट ऑफ गॉड इज गायत्री इट सेल्फ यू कैन सी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर पिक्चर थिंग्स आर फॉलोइंग फ्रॉम टॉप एंड गेटिंग इन टू मी एंड दिस वॉज माई एक्सपीरियंस एज ए चाइल्ड बिफोर आई वॉज इवन सेवन ईयर्स आई फाउंड दैट डिविनिटी फॉलोइंग इन टू मी एंड मेक मी एक्सपीरियंस द ब्यूटी एंड आफ्टर दैट आई बिकेम सुपर इंटेलिजेंट माई अंतरात्मा हैड गॉट इन टू मी वेन आई वॉज ट्वेंटी टू वीक्स इन माई मदर्स वूम इट सेल्फ बट गॉड इज गायत्री गॉट इन टू मी एट सेवन ईयर्स एंड आफ्टर दैट आई फाउंड एंड वेन टू स्कूल आई कुड आंसर एवरी क्वेश्चन बिफोर द क्वेश्चन इज कम्प्लीट एंड आई थिंक दैट इज द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल पार्ट बिकॉज यू लिटली बिकम एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट एट डिवाइन ग्रेस वेन यू आर फ्लोइंग विद अंतरात्मा एंड एवर सिंस माई चाइल्ड हुड इट इज मी हु इज टॉकिंग गेटिंग द आंसर्स फॉर माई इनर सोल अंतरात्मा और कुंडलनी atma and giving the answer to the world that's the reason my academic record from school college university is impeccable exemplary by and large it is only because of antaratma within my body which gave me my experience within my of satchitanand and goddess gayatri gave me the knowledge of solar system right up to this was absolute wisdom there is no doubt about that now with the respect to this i am able to understand periodic table much better in the process number 1 you see the picture right on top you have from left to right size is reducing and up to down in the periods it's increasing groups is reducing period is increasing and the reason is in group wise the first one is hydrogen where hydrogen electron is moving out and that is what makes it evolve and that's why hydrogen can be beautiful positive ion by and large when it's positive that 21 can become 22 as a result is going out is an expanded but when come to the helium both the electrons are focused inside when they focus inside although the number is more but the more compact is not going out it's coming in when it's coming in size has to reduce that is what i explained in picture and that is what i understand from science as a mathematician as a physics chemistry science chemistry subject i have understood the beauty of that that's what i wanted to put it but when you look at electrons dark matter noble gases you have helium on top then they have neon 21 then this and in the process the size is increasing you can see and as for the periodic table as i also told you very clearly in the period there are sevens only that shows everything made of seven parts and as for the groups are concerned you can see 18 groups that's what 18 groups adi prashakti and nine the seven is the one which is spiritual number is beautifully seen here but on the other picture you see only 5 and 8 that is with difference river because they have importance role to play in self and i expect that particular person who made that picture was clear about devyank let's understand move on to the next step now all these things which are produced in the universal consciousness from atma into atom element molecules and compounds were formed as a mineral kingdom in the universe from there things appeared and they have fallen down now i do believe there is importance in mineral kingdom that's the first stage of creation or the growth by and large universe made from atma and manifested into mineral kingdom as the first one that is what i'm talking about in this particular thing from atom element molecules to compounds they are fall into mineral kingdom only second thing which developed in the process was a plant kingdom not the animal kingdom 
and plants use the atom element molecule compounds to make plant tissues and other things so that in the presence of sunlight with a photosynthesis this plant could manufacture carbohydrates lipids proteins and other things which are required for the living beings including human beings but the process started with the plant kingdom first not animals is something which i am making it very clear it was thing which came from universe say methane came then oxygen came then carbon dioxide came and then the process started you can see in plant kingdom the carbohydrate being manufactured water at the bottom carbon dioxide sugar things was the second stage in evolution of life as such in bio and this all started in ocean water only to start with they were formed in ocean and then swagar manthan they have a reason and that is reason in earlier i did talk about it kapil vriksh from top to the bottom coming then kamadenu how it produced from methane to gas and how thing i've already explained but here you can see in the perfection this form now from there the animals were made mineral kingdom to the plant kingdom to the animal kingdom but in animal kingdom i see a difference all the animals of the world starting from reptilian brain is the fish which i am talking about as a first vertebrate by and large then they go to five stages to come to animal human level but within the human brain itself we can see all the animal kingdom as such you have a reptilian brain of the brain stem and spinal cord first the core one then you have a mammalian brain of the limbic system which brings in emotions whereas reptilian brings unconscious subconscious mind to make us survive come what may be the situation but limbic system brings us emotions love reward things which are associated with family and oneness of society as a society part which four legged animals show and that's the mammalian brain is up to right up to limbic system which is surrounding the reptilian brain on top of that you have a cortical brain which is a thinking brain which human beings around the world use but let me tell you at this particular stage right up to neuroscientists of the world they talk about all sensory components of the world go up to fourth layer of neocortex and from there the motor cortex arises evaluation takes place and things is done but what is the outer three layers of neocortex i am very sorry to say even neuroscientists of the world do not even know about it it's very sorry that you are the scientist you have the mediums everything is available but you don't even know the functions of the outer three layers and this is what i have gone on to put sure as a sector fourth part which is very important that is unexplored unknown human brain that means outer three layers of neocortex is unique but if you look at reptilian brain you have dark matter inside which is neuron cells but in the outer three layers it is outside to be in tune with the universal consciousness to know ourselves it should have to get into the reptilian brain which has gray matter inside and antaratma can give you from that the human body's perfection but when you want to go to gayatri you got to go outside and that is what three outer layers make you to go to akash kosh which is human resonance field and it's got ionosphere of 7.83 as such but i do believe 7.83 to 8.73 is the area in which akash kosh you can be in tune with universal consciousness which has got records of the past present and future now with the help of my antaratma and gayatri i got the knowledge from akash kosh be recorded there what are the world may say it is there but you have to have a frequency of 7.83 to 7 8.73 in the brain through the brain that whole brain is like a huge ram now i am making on a computers with apple book pro with a 32 gb and my videos are more than 10 gb in one shot recorded with 4k and similarly my brain 
all the 64 parts of the brain are totally into 8 hertz frequency with eyes open and I can be in tune that and my knowledge comes from there with the help of my Atma, I am able to show something which has never been shown till date. I am challenging the neuroscientists, mathematicians, physics, chemistry, ki what I have used is man-made concepts which are defect. But if you want to start with Divyank, you will have a perfect. Having one man from 2014-15 come to this stage, I think it is time for ready for re-research again for maths, physics, and chemistry of the divine nature, not other. Now this is what. Now let's produce the results. And I am saying I have an integrated state of the mind. I am in tune with universal consciousness. With a closed mind, I am able to produce 8.5 hertz through the entire brain. Predominant coherent alpha frequency you can see on the picture. But with open eyes, I can produce a predominant coherent alpha rhythm of 8 hertz throughout the brain with eyes open, which is second picture down. This was taken in 2018 after Divya being done. We have come to that stage and I have over a period I have improved from normal brain of alpha frequency 10.5 hertz with a closed mind from posterior brain to 8 hertz throughout the brain with open eye which is great transformation which is exactly challenging the neuroscientists of the world that you say you cannot change and I have changed it. I have gone with the universal consciousness but I do know only if People who are completely truthful, pure vegetarian, who have nothing to do with irregular, can be into the universal consciousness with knowledge alone, with karam yoga, actions, thoughts, ideas of impeccable wisdom. That intention can give you that. Nothing other than that is possible. And this is a proof of that particular concept by and large. Now there comes the question as, now I have the objective that I can talk of the prime objective of my life is I have to be perfectly physically healthy, without disease, perfect emotional health, perfect material wealth, perfect education, abundance of wisdom, abundance of uh, materialism, abundance of everything which I need for myself and the world by and large. And all that can be done provided you are in tune with universal consciousness. When you are in tune with universal consciousness, you will never be in want of anything and that is what moksha is all about. Freedom from all constraints of life and give you blissful, comfortable life throughout is what moksha is all about. And we human beings can do that. I am doing that even at the age of 73. And you look at my academic record, everything is outstanding because I have been in tune with pure vegetarian food without any alcohol, drugs or anything for that matter. Taken only things which are physiologically right, chemically right, biochemistry none, psychologically perfect, anything other than that I do not touch at all. That's one part. Now we know we have failed miserably. Why did we fail miserably? Because we are not having idea about things. We are ignorant of things and we don't have inertia to even find it out. We don't know what is the right knowledge. What is the perfect anatomy, perfect physiology? perfect white mystery, perfect self. We are not even aware of our own self. Forget about everything else. Unless until we know about ourselves first, only then we can think of other things. But everybody seems to interest in the external world. Nobody is interested to understand their self. Now when you see the external without personal integration, you are going to be defective and that is what has happened to all the mathematics, physics, chemistry, laws by and large. Now we have to become perfect by and large. Now the question is, now to come to the deviance manufacturing part thereafter, how things improved from the beginning. Everything has come down. Now we, from the earth we are going to take from Saga to Goa. So one, what are the things which are most important is the three elements as I spoke about. What are three elements are atoms which are important is hydrogen which is Aditya or the sun, the carbon which is responsible for biological life and oxygen which is Agni are the energy which is required. These three things, hydrogen, carbon and oxygen are the three one which are basic required. With which, of course, helium-4 was antaratma. Let's leave it that apart. Three things. Then first three inorganic molecules which are important for the universe starting point itself is methane, water and carbon dioxide. Methane has the power of energy with power of 10 protons. 
and water also has a proton 10 only and carbon dioxide has a 22 proton now you see deviance here again and these are the only three things which are important i am going to show you why they are important and why they were deviant why they played a very important role by and large second thing the water is the first one which i called amrit which is required for the world it has got one oxygen and two hydrogens you can see on top how they unit together to become a pi volar is a power of 10 and amrit is this and indra is this and this is the most important universal solvent for the entire universe i have already spoken and its percentage is 61.803 percent and i also call it female shakti that is also i'm going to show you as we proceed the percentage of shakti is 61.8034 this is an external thing which is peripheral whereas shakta is inside is 38.1966 percent which is closing water is outside shakta is inside now methane you can see one carbon four hydrogen power of 10 but this is where the energy came from and then this also represents both 10 stages of development were implanted in that and you can see the picture very clearly but the next is methane plus oxygen as i told you oxygen is very important is agni it's the one which brings fire and i've shown it very clearly agni is fire fire is oxygen and our experiment in school itself shows take a bowl of water put a candle inside burn it and then put a glass white glass on top it will burn as long there is oxygen very moment oxygen is consumed by the burning flame flame will go off and that shows its oxygen but methane and oxygen got together to produce carbon dioxide and water that with that carbon dioxide and water the biological life started on the whole in the entire universe and let me at this particular stage show the carbon dioxide is the 22 protons 6 of carbon plus 16 of oxygen to 22 and that is again divya but let me also tell you to start with all the four inner inner planets between sun and asteroid belt the mercury venus earth and mars had 97 percent carbon dioxide only to start with but it's interesting the earth's 97 percent carbon dioxide has been replaced by 21 percent oxygen which is the deviant part and 78 percent nitrogen which is for the next protein products and this particular picture i've shown inner planets earth has got blue color where others have got only yellow orange color because of carbon dioxide but carbon dioxide was used up to convert in oxygen and nitrogen as the colors have changed and biologically life has been possible carbon has been converted into nitrogen for the next stage and water has been converted into oxygen as a result you can say because earth is vibrant because of water of 61.8 percent and of course carbon dioxide is replaced by oxygen to give energy to make biological life very clear in the beginning itself that shows how the transformation took place after earth was formed from 97 percent carbon dioxide to 21 percent oxygen and nitrogen 70 percent and nitrogen is nothing but carbon plus hydrogen put together let it be very clear nitrogen was formed by union of carbon which is for biological plus oxygen to make it to the next level to make it even better and that is the kind of science which i want every child from school college to the university understand it clearly now that with that started the genesis of biochemistry by and large and let me make one thing very very clear at this particular juncture this is kalpa vriksha tree to start with its roots were in the universe which methane oxygen came down with the earth to with carbon dioxide and water but when come to the carbon dioxide and water on earth then biological life started in ocean and the tree became otherwise it became a plant kingdom first it's a mineral kingdom it's a plant kingdom in mineral kingdom this tree was upside down but on the earth for plant kingdom it has been taken this form it's taken 
asexual reproduction to sexual reproduction to fruits, vegetables and seeds to start the life as such. And that's the beauty of biochemistry compounds in the plant kingdom by and large. Now come to the next stage is to start with there were no seeds at all. Started with the chemistry, inorganic chemistry to organic chemistry to atom, element, molecules and compounds. When all these compounds were made then they were converted into spores and asexual reproduction. There were no seeds, they were under the ground and they were inside the water. So as a result sun had no effect at all. There was more photosynthesis. These are underground like your bananas and plants. They started asexual reproduction. You are going to see that now. When you see that particular thing right at the bottom, how plant is coming from that, but it is giving offshoot suckers outside to make another plant out of it. That is asexual. But the middle one you can see the fruit is a female bitch and male bud is what sexual reproduction starts thereafter. See how whole process all the atom element molecules compound came down then asexual reproduction came primarily of the one and I am talking about banana and onion to start with because they have 10 layers by and large. I have already shown but this is what it is all about. But next stage inverted plant bringing carbon dioxide and water down to the earth then photosynthesis plant kingdom convert into glucose plus oxygen to replace the earth with 21 percent oxygen and 70 percent is one part but then same glucose is along with oxygen is taken by the human cells I'm bringing human cells they cell respiration and they produce energy and produce carbon dioxide and water again as a result requirement of carbon dioxide which had come down considerably after converting methane oxygen into carbon dioxide and water and carbon dioxide into carbohydrates and water into oxygen the concentration consciousness has come down less than fraction of a second in the universe but to keep it cycling the cycle should go on plants convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen and we use that to produce carbon dioxide. This is a beautiful cycle with which we can say mineral kingdom to plant kingdom to animal kingdom has turned the role that we maintain the universe clearly with in the Bhumi or Prithvi or Earth very clearly. That's the amazing part of the science and that is the science which people should understand. Now the science of spores I have already explained and here I am putting it as a, a reproductive cell can develop into a new individual cell without fusion with another reproductive cell. That is spores, asexual reproduction. They are different from gametes which are males and females and that's it. The next stage from spores to seed formation, how it happens in ferns are those things is beautifully designed here by Britannia Encyclopedia picture with their respect and say their work is fantastic I am showing it very clearly how spores are coming how they are developed how they are produced for and the cycle goes on by and large. Now there is another interesting picture which I have found how the genesis has taken place from different stages to how it comes how spores are formed and different phases how first female gametosperms come first which is 61.8 percent this is a periphery and how they get into male is something is very clear so this is also making deviance clearly say first thing is fallen down in the mineral kingdom when come to the plant kingdom asexual reproduction the first thing which is formed is a female and then only male comes and then the union goes further to firm and other things by and large that is a beautiful picture I respect them and use it show this I am very thankful for this picture you have made my job much easier because I would use the science concepts rather than make my own which is not use the things which are done by other which are perfect 
now basic design of the nature from plant kingdom is what i'm talking first we were talking about mineral kingdom as came from up down now from plant kingdom what happened now as i told you sprouting process started in the plant kingdom asexual to asexual to seed formation when seeds were implanted in water and then given water and oxygen they start sprouting that means they start forming green plants as you can see in this very clearly this is again picture of science from internet everybody is used to it and done with it the next stage comes is the stage how the mathematics started developing from zero to thereafter things like that and things which come to the see the world is only in tree formation the first as you can see right at the bottom is one trunk second is a first branch which has two parts then third has got three plants fourth has got five fifth has got eight sixth has got 13 seventh has got 21 this is what i'm restricting myself to only seven levels because that is a basic number of the thing and this is also a picture from internet not designed by me but i found the beauty in this particular thing which i felt this should be shown and what it has taught to me is what we are going to see now at the next stage of formation of universal consciousness as i tell you what is the pattern called as for the world is concerned this particular pattern is called fibonacci sequence which is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 54, 9, 1, 4, and things go on the same direction. And that is what the number is. That's the first realization of mathematical design as the world divine has used to make things clearly for the world. And sum of that, the third number is sum of the preceding two numbers is very very clear in this 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 1 plus 2 is 3 and there are many more things which I have spoken about it I am going to talk about it as we move on to the next stage when we go because we are making a new Mahagrant so let it be in small stages give the summary as such now in from this who conceived the pattern first is the first question comes did Fibonacci sequence it is it because it's only 1202 was it known to the Indians even before that? Akhand Bharat knew it much before that. Now let's see who done. Now I would call it Pingala is the first one who experienced it as a Misrauchya way back in 450 BC itself. That means 2500 years ago. India knew it. And they knew it very well that it starts from zero. The world might call it the default. But it starts from 0 to 1, 1 and then how it moves on. Because seed by itself is a 0. It's compact within itself. From that how it appears and how it moves on is something has to be appreciated. Let's not give some scientists versions of certain people as importance. They are defective. Let me call them defective. That's it. But the two misrao chermi, two numbers are mixed together. 1 and 1 is mixed together to the next number. 1 and 1 to 2, this is how it goes on. That was first conceived 450 years BC. Then second person was Vivanka who explained that in 700 AD. There are others also in India who have done it. But I will not go into that. But Viravanka called it variation of two earlier numbers. It's almost same thing. Others said mixed as a variation. Means again the same thing. Number goes back and same number. But Leonardo of Pisa, Fibonacci explained it in 2000, 1202 AD, which world accepted. It's very unfortunate. The wisdom which was given by Akhand Bharat from Ved period more than 10,000 years ago has not been brought to the world and as a result the divine mathematics lost and replaced by defective man-made concepts. And we, the whole world is confused only because our mathematics is a defect, physics is defective, chemistry is defective, so are the other sciences. And we need to rectify that. Now, I am very happy that Fibonacci himself has called it as an Indian series, not that. If you ask my opinion, I would call it Pingla Fibonacci sequence because Pingla's name should be given 
is the one who talked about it 2005 years ago and the evidence is given by Prime Minister itself, his book, it is an Indian and this is. Now, examples we can see of aloe vera is the first plant which I have brought it this. Why I bring aloe vera here? Because the only plant which can produce oxygen at night. It is very, very important and you can see the circle in the same sequence is there in Pingala Pivinesi sequence. But this can produce oxygen even at night and you can use it inside the plant house. The second thing which I bring together is pine cone. This is an example is those layers are also in the same thing as Pingala Pivinesi sequence but at the same time the number of layers you can see only 10. As I have brought in earlier asexual, banana and onion, because there are only 10 layers. When come to plant kingdom, I talk of pineapple because it's got 10 layers alone, not more than that. If it is perfect, it's that. It shows the 10 stage of development and then come to the end. And the structure is one, which is also with pineal gland by and large. That's one. Next example is the lily flowers. You can see the same thing moving in the same direction in direction to show how Pingala Fibonacci sequence actually manifests itself over a period. This is a beautiful example. The next example in human form I see, if you take the palm, you can see 1, 2, 3, 5 and 8 as such. And this is the number which is there as such you can see. And that is the most beautiful part in human anatomy as a peripheral part, not the core one. The core one is deviant, which we'll talk about it later. And this is the information. Now, sunflower is another one which is attracted only to the sun. It's a plant seed in such a way which follow the same Fibonacci Pingala sequence by and large. And then you can see the picture very clearly in the center which I have shown you, this is how spiral galaxy looks like. Now you can see the same picture here, you can see the same thing. But in this picture, let me tell you one thing very clearly. I am bringing together a new sequence called golden ratio. And in this particular Pingala Fibonacci sequence as shown, a number, you can say it in the middle, 89 by 55 is 1.618181818. This is the closest approximate value of golden ratio I can think of from Pingala Fibonacci sequence. That comes within 10th and 11th sequence. But others are not as close. If I have to take a number as a golden ratio for the world as such from this, it could be 1.618 to be very close to 3 digits after 1. That's it. But this picture you can see in the spiral galaxy, you can also see in whirlpools. And you can see in Fibonacci sunflower, you can see everywhere the same story. But that is the first design which the world has realized in the manifestation of the universal consciousness, which I think is very, very important. Now come to the question, this, this was the Indian mathematics which Indians have understood. Brahmins had conceived a divine mathematics. They taught it to Zoroastrians mathematics. Zoroastrians taught it to the Arabs. Arabs modified the concept into algorithms and modern geometry, algebra, as it says. And they taught that net to the West and West convert into new man-made format and patented it. And they taught the whole to the world and we are confused because they converted into man-made concept, not the divine mathematics which Brahmins of Akhand Bharat had given it to Zoroastrians. And now we need to rectify that once again, keeping the divine mathematics given by Brahmins of Akhand Bharat to the world and that is Divyank. To show what Vedas and Upanishads gave divine mathematics perfect to the core has to be revived again by Akhand Bharat, Brahmins only and give the world so the author, the conceiver, perceiver is a Brahman by a large, who is a truly genuine Brahman from this land of Akhand Bharat, without anything which is unnatural, he is in tune with universal consciousness. And all that is finally summed into this. I think it's enough for the day in English. 
maybe tomorrow little more improvise a certain more slide which i felt i should add i would add and present in hindi form which we go to the next stage as such of manifesting at higher level as a sequence thank you very much it was lovely talking to you thank you thank you thank you